Today, we are truly reviewing a piece of history. Originally produced in 1966, with a crazy story, I might add, and then again in 2006, 2007, 2014, and 2016, and here we are in a 2022 Shelby GTH. Wow. So with all that being said, let's get into the intro. All even knew what I'd do for a decent house and a plate of food. Fair, 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 don't make the news. That's right, that's right. Look. Pack going up north like Pogba. Kev just stepped out of here last week. Still trying to score like Diddy a job, but Dan just looks like Harry Potter. Told the cats they should call him Oscar. Hit the MO with two phones up. Uh, now I'm trying to come back with Gola. Fight it, bro. Uh, I'm a family guy that's too. Now, if you can't already tell, I am in Arizona. It is currently around 102 degrees, and right behind me is State Farm Stadium, where the Cardinals will be playing this Sunday against the Giants. Now, let's take a look on the inside. Now, this car does deserve a lot of credit because they did do a lot of things that made it much different than the standard GT. As you can see right here, you have this half carbon fiber, half brushed aluminum look. Good look at it there. As you can see right here, you have a Shelby GTH badge, which obviously puts this in the Shelby registry, even though it wasn't actually owned by Shelby. It was just a car that was bought by Hertz and modified by Shelby. And a huge difference would be these seats. As you can see, they are bucket seats, real bucket seats. It's a Shelby GTH that are stitched into the headrest, if you will, there, or backrest. And then these seats are not heated or cooled, but they are extremely nice and they feel awesome when you sit in them. I'm a huge fan of these seats. Here's a look at the back seats. I don't think that they're any different than the standard GT. Obviously, you have no leg space whatsoever. I'll give you guys a look. There's your leg space. So I don't think that these are any different, but if they are, I hope my commenters will let me know. Now, if you look below the steering wheel, you can see you have Shelby GTH rugs, which are very cool, but unfortunately very worn down. As you can see, they're pretty torn up and whoever gets this will probably have to make some new rugs because these are destroyed and obviously you're probably never gonna get a OEM Shelby GTH rug for your car, so. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And moving to the right of the steering wheel, as you can see, you do have some, some oil gauges and a vacuum gauge. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you do not get that on the standard GT 5.0, so something different right there. And then if you move down from there, right here, as you can see, this would be your heated and cooled seats, but since you have the bucket seats, they're no longer there, so unfortunate but also i'd rather have bucket seats so and then if you open the door you can see right on the door sill is a shelby gth door sill plaque which is really cool it lights up at night and then at night also on the floor it'll say shelby gth with the mustang logo right on top i'll get a picture for for you guys it's pretty neat um but unfortunately you can't see it because it is not nighttime some other huge differences to note would be the stripe on the bottom here. It says GTH and obviously Shelby. Obviously GTH just stands for GT Hertz and then Shelby for Shelby Cobra, Carol Shelby. And then on the back, which is different from the 2016 model, is it says Shelby instead of GTH on the trunk lid there, or trunk cap. And then it says Hertz on the side and then 60th anniversary compared to what I think they put 50th for the 2016. Um, you get the gold racing stripes that go from the back all the way to the front. Gold stripe on this side as well. 5.0 logo right here. And then gold stripe all the way to the front. Pretty awesome. Obviously the hood is much different as well, which is, I like it a lot more than the standard GT hood. I wish all GTs would have this, but then it wouldn't be as cool. Much different grill. It says Shelby right here. Let's get a closer up here. Obviously it's very loud. I apologize. It's very hot and that's my AC. Hertz logo right here on this right side of the grill or left side, driver's side. And then 
your license plate holder, which is very unfortunate they had to do that, but obviously have to stay legal. So I'm not gonna go over all the features of this car because it, it at the end of the day, it is a stock Mustang GT. Um, there's not much more to it than that. Um, I wanted to show you guys the differences between like the 2016 model, which looks pretty similar to this one, and then what's different between that one and this one. Um, obviously a big difference would be the gauge clusters as well. Um, the, the 2016 has the, the non-electronic gauge clusters, which is still nice. Um, I don't, I don't think it really dates the car at all still. Um, even though it's a 2016, that's almost 10 years old. It's getting there. And a few other things that are different from the Mustang GT is it has upgraded brakes, suspension, and a limited slip rear axle out of the box. And in the past four years, Ford has changed the way that they do the Mustang and now they're they're not as focused on fuel economy and they let you rev it up much higher than they used to and that's a huge difference I would say. The wheels are 20 inches wide and they are fitted with uh, Michelin Pilot Sports which are very nice wheels so you don't have anything to worry about there compared to most rental cars they're going to put the cheapest wheels that they possibly can on them. And obviously this one wasn't cleaned up as well as you'd hope for such a nice and rare car. Um, I'd like my com comment section to let me know, please, please let me know, because I cannot find this anywhere on the internet. How many of these were made? The 5.0, not the, not the GT500, 900 horsepower, Hertz Edition Mustang. I want to know how many of these were made. This is um, number 272. It says 0272, so I would assume at least a thousand were made. So if you guys can let me know, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks. But other than that, I don't have too much to say about the car. It's a Mustang 5.0. It's very fast. For a stock car, car these are just screamers. I, I'm very, very impressed with Mustangs. I really, really like them. And out of all of the American muscle cars that you can possibly buy, I'd probably pick a Mustang. Um, out of the box, you get 450 horsepower for a stock car. That's fantastic. Obviously, it's not going to beat a Hellcat or anything like that, but it's also not the price of a Hellcat. So you get you get what I'm saying there. It's it's an awesome car. Now I'm going to pop up some pictures as I speak about the GT500 Mustang. Uh, I got to walk past it when I was in the rental car lot. Um, it was about a year ago when I saw it. Um, I got to take pictures of the engine bay on the inside and you know some of the differences that you would see. Um, the badge number is much different. Um, those are numbered to I believe 25. I believe only 25 of those were ever made. So if you end up with one of those, holy guacamole, that is incredible. Obviously that comes with a supercharger on it. It is 900 horsepower plus is what they advertise straight out of the box. That's it. it just, just, Incredible, and the only way you can rent it, it is $399 a day to rent it. It's 150 miles per day that you get to rent it and 75 cents per mile that you go over per day. You also have to have your own insurance for that car. I cannot tell you what insurance you need. Um, I've never asked because unfortunately I don't have $400 to spend because um, I just don't. But I'm hoping in the future, very, very soon, because I'm sure they're not gonna be available much longer, um, I'll be able to rent one because I really, really would like to get behind the wheel of that. And if this video gets good feedback, I would love to get behind that wheel. And I think that car would get even better feedback. So I would open the engine bay when I was outside, but unfortunately it's currently 101 degrees. My phone says 102 and I can't touch that hood. It's so hot, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm, I'd burn my hands. So I apologize for that. Um, you could thank Arizona. And under the hood also should say number 272. So I have this car for the next few hours and obviously you guys aren't gonna be with me for the next few hours that I make this video. I'm not gonna vlog it, but um, I am gonna make some videos of me driving the car um, so you could hear it. It is a much different um, exhaust. I forgot to mention that. This is a brand new exhaust. Um, it's completely different than the regular Mustang GT. This is. Uh, made by Shelby. Um, it literally says Shelby on the on the tips. Uh, I'll link a picture right here. And getting this thing into high RPMs just sounds incredible. It's just meant to do it and it's just awesome. It's a great feeling. Um, this car is very fast. It's very torquey. Um, and like I said, it's it's a, it's a Mustang, and if you've ever driven one, you know what you're getting into. So here's some videos of me driving here.
And I just want to thank you for watching till the end. I, I This was a much different style that I've ever done. Um, I've now gotten a mic, so very, very cool. I tried to do a video, um, when starting the video of me outside of the car, which is much different than I usually do. Um, I think it's gonna get a lot less awkward. I hope, hopefully it does. Um, and hopefully you guys like it. If you don't, let me know because I can go right back to the original way that I was doing these videos. Once again, thank you very much for staying till the end and please stay for my hand selected music. Thought I had it all, I ain't had shit Couple cars outside with the bad bitch Seven chains round my neck, ice boat wrist Big championship rings, ice boat this Playing cards on a yacht, bitch, go fish When you living like this, people know this Whole time, they just hoping that you blow it Ill wishes coming from the people you keep closest Ball like a ringer in that prep uniform I guess it worked out when they step up for him In my project, too broke to make a project Heart was the push-ups, hustle was the biceps, mindset, real estate in the real estate, still in take, facilitate, I'm finna break, jealousy is a motherfucker, yeah, cash in the lust, till the ashes and dust, gotta pick and choose, realists lose, stick and move.